Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to my watch vlog. And for today's episode, we are going to unbox and check out two brand new Seiko Sumo watches that I picked up recently. If that interests you, let's go. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please make sure that you do so. We are giving away a couple of Seiko 5 automatic field watches. All you have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and then watch the video. The link is linked down below to see the rest of the mechanics. Good luck! Now, the Seiko Sumo is one of the dive watches of the Seiko Prospects line. And if you're thinking, why is it called Sumo, or affectionately nicknamed Sumo by Seiko fans and enthusiasts, because if you take a look at the Seiko Sumo watch, this is the one that my first Sumo, which is in black. If you take a look at the 12 o'clock marker, it kind of resembles the Mawashi, which is the underwear worn by Japanese Sumo wrestlers. Apart from that, it's kind of chunky, especially if you take a look at the case in proportion to the 20 millimeter band that it has. Now, the reason why I love the Sumo, apart from the aesthetic, is that they just feel great on my wrist. So I usually wear bigger watches than smaller ones. I have kind of have like a big wrist. So the Sumo line has always been like a favorite. And today, we're going to add two more watches to this particular uh, collection of mine. And apart from sitting well on my wrist, it's also packed with features. So it has the Seiko in-house automatic movement with manual winding. Apart from that, it has the 6R35 caliber which gives it 70 hours of power reserve. So if you fully wind it and if you use it for the rest of the week, you lay it down on a Friday, wear a different watch, chances are if you pick it up on Monday again, it should still have juice in it and you can keep that cycle going on. That's why I love watches with at least 70 hours of power reserve. The case is made out of stainless steel. You have sapphire crystal for the top and then it also has Lumi Bright on the hands and the indices so that if it's dark, you can still tell the time. You have a three-fold clasp over here with a lock and then if you want to take it off, it's a push button release with extender. Okay, now this is the black one and what I wanted to do was add a little bit more color to my Sumo collection. So the first one I want to show you is the SPB 103J. So that's the reference number of this particular watch. And this is a green version of the Seiko Sumo. And it kind of reminds me a lot of the Rolex Submariner Hulk. Uh, I, I'm sure you guys know that watch because it is one of the most famous our Rolex is today and it is one of the most expensive ones. I think I saw a couple of, of Rolex Submariner Hulk selling for like 800,000. But anyway, so this is what the watch looks like. So you have that green dial, green bezel, and the contrast between the, the marks. And of course, uh, the overall look is just absolutely stunning. So if you prefer green watches, then this is the best like sumo that you might want to pick up. So you have the choice of going black, you have the choice of going green. There's also a blue version of this watch available. If you want to buy one, you can actually get one from the Seiko online boutique shop. I'll link it down below if you want to pick one up. You might also want to check out the description box because I'll put a discount code there so that you can get best bang for your buck if you decide to buy this from the Seiko Philippines online web shop. I also have this one which is the SPB125J1. So uh, if the two Seikos that I just showed you showed you were primarily in one color, so one is in like black and metal and the other one is in uh, green, this one, oh man, this one looks even more stunning so now this piece is supposed to be limited edition to 7,000 pieces but I'm not sure if something that is 7,000 pieces availability is still considered limited edition I mean I I'd understand like less than 500 or less than 1,000 but 7,000 is kind of stretching it right if you guys take a closer look at the face uh, the markers are some sort of like yellow with a gold outline the bezel has three colors primarily it's two tone with black and gray the numbers are in white. An additional accent is if you take a look at it, the minute hand actually has an orange outline, making it pop a little bit more. It also comes in a rubber strap as opposed to the usual metal bracelets that you get with Sumo watches. And speaking of limited edition, if you take a look at the back, you will be able to see the number. So this one is number 5,064 out of 7,000. 
If you want to pick up any of these two watches, the green one is selling right now for 42,930 pesos. The link again can be found down below together with the discount code. While this black version, let me just check the price to make sure I get it properly. This one is going for 45,000. 900 again uh, the links to both watches on where you can buy them online are down below together with a discount code that you can use to get well discount so yeah if you're looking for chunky diver watches that look amazing that have a great story good heritage as well as packed with features including the 70r power reserve and will always sit well on your wrist you might want to check out the different models of the seiko sumo and with that said this is carlos signing out i hope you guys enjoyed our quick watch vlog for today don't forget to check out and join our seiko 5 automatic field watch giveaway uh, it's easy to join it's free to join so might as well take advantage of it and as i say in my main vlog peace god bless what's up boom